Hey everyone, this is Yang. Great to see you all. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy and warm as well. Today we are watching a performance or an MV. I don't really know what to say other than there are lots of artists. So if you know anything about this video, please comment below because there's a lot of Korean and I had trouble pronouncing the double vowels. So I kind of googled the title. I think I got it, which is called Space Hip Hop and it's featuring lots of people and yeah if you know anything like I said please let me know but I'm very excited to see who is in it because I feel like collaborations are awesome because you get to see multiple artists together working together singing rapping and dancing together so yeah very excited let's check it out right now so yeah this part says like space hip-hop and then Han Han I don't know my double vowels V and then there's BB featuring BB and produced by Din 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 Din. Hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, let's check it out right now. Ooh, I don't know everyone though. <laughs> 잔머리에 튄건 없어도 행복해 니들처럼 대갈 굴리며 복잡하게 난 살아 야 어차피 나는 난 니는 이 싸가진 없어도 예의는 있게 살자 주기 왁 이거 울 사람들 오지라 보지마 걱정 하는 척 열등감만 뿜뿜 숨이 탁 막힐 것 같아 난 니들만 보면 다 맞아 지나가는 날 잡길래 왔냐 했더니 옆집 민씨 방 그제 나도 좋아 친구 축하러 갔을 때 미각들 눈처리는 있게 안에 내가 미니까 찍게 이게 광대 따위가 와 한심해 아니 왜 자기는 얼마나 고귀한 일들을 하길래 한량 두 놈이 보이네 온 동네가 떵떵거리네 인물이 원해 Okay, so I feel like this might have been a slight parody or making it humorous even though they all look very serious but I feel like some of the tools and some of the props they used were kind of like, 
having like inside jokes or humor. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really like this upbeat, heavy, like rhythm based background. But at the same time, there's a lot of like Korean instruments being played throughout this whole MV. So I really could tell there's a combination of like modern music, contemporary music with ancient or more uh, Korean instruments integrated into this MV. So I really like that. At first I thought it was just the music, but there's also more to it too. So here we see Oh, I guess I'll talk about her since she's here. Is her name Bibi? That's my guess. But she has a very nice, humble, and just a great Korean outfit, traditional Korean outfit. But then we see her wearing this very contemporary hat, kind of like those really big sun hats that you would wear at the beach or for fashion uh, or, you know, for like a horse racing event kind of a vibe that I got. So that's the part where I saw they were mixing and having like a fusion involved in this MV. Not just her though, but uh, I was, I don't know these guys, I'm sorry. He had a nice, again, traditional Korean outfit, same as the other guy that I first saw. And we see Hichul Opa with very, again, traditional clothing as well, but he has these modern sunglasses and his modern like hairstyle too. Sorry with the buzz, let's just continue on. So with the white hair and long hair, kind of like a mullet, black and white, kind of like a skunk, but you know, an attractive, good looking skunk. And so that's what I noticed. Again, combination of traditional with modern and contemporary clothing as well. And we actually see, I don't know, he is wearing like a zip up long sleeve. If I can find another picture of shot of it that'll be great because i think i could find out or i think i saw the brand of that shirt but they blurred it so anyways it's very interesting here we see this traditional lion um that this gave me like the one is lit feel and again they use traditional korean like creatures clothing and style and into their mv so this concept is not oneness's but that's just uh something that just popped up in my head and uh they had similar lions in there too especially road to kingdom they had a couple of these too and so people the dancers in the background uh are also dressed up very traditionally as well with the traditional drums head band uh, accessories and yeah it looks very much like we're in the traditional era in korea however there are lots of modern sprinkles here and there too besides the glasses i think he also yeah has a zip up so it feels like you know if it's really cold during halloween you still want to wear your costume but it's it won't keep you warm so you have to wear like your hoodie and your sweater underneath that's the feeling i got but i think it's more to it than just keeping them warm but it's like again fusion and they're doing it on purpose and so we see him with the fans and he's wearing a winter coat instead and inside is the humble instead of the other way around and so a lot of mixture here and there and here we see her sitting in a place that looks like a palace with a very very big throne with the hair up in a traditional way with the braids and the pins that women have in the past and also petting her pet lion a little creepy in my opinion the teeth is like Grr. but it's very tamed i'm sure i won't bite and yeah so she then goes back and forth and i think her humble here is a little more contemporary again just because it's more transparent here and this top looks more like a tank top like strap instead so i really like the feeling of them combining two different cultures or traditions and styles into this mv is it for parody or for more reasons i'm not sure but i really like the idea of that okay let me see if i can find well it looks really cool by the way i think they did record this in a like a traditional setting here so I really like that as well but let me see i have no idea what he's talking about <laughs> and with that like badge does it represent something i saw like five horses i don't know but that part is a little confusing anyways i'm on a scout for hechua again 
I found you. So here we see him wearing uh, an Adidas <laughs> um, zip up sh uh, jacket of some sort. And so I like how it's quite clear that it's blurred, but also it's just again mixing contemporary with you know traditional styles as well. And he's wearing something here, I can't really tell, but it also looks like beads dangling. So there are just small little details that the stylists uh, really put into when making this MV. And so we see them more and more together. At first, they only have their individual scenes by themselves, whereas maybe those two guys did interact with each other for a bit or he chill with another guy, but not really all of them together. And we see her also coming out of the room. So everyone seems to be meeting up somewhere, right? And to my surprise, I was like, hold on just a moment. Isn't that the matinee of ATs, like what is going on here? And I really like the transition of her right coming out and then all seven members coming in. Let me shrink myself so I can see everyone. <laughs> all right, so yeah, everyone is dressed up on the outside like a humbug or more traditional clothing. And then if you look inside, they're wearing like a hoodie, turtleneck, uh, another like hoodie here. So I really think, you know, that's very relatable, especially, um, yeah, that's like what I would do if I wear my traditional like Chinese outfit, I would definitely wear something like that underneath. So it's like, okay, the, the pictures are done. I'm done. I'll be like, yeah, I can take it off and, you know, look more casual again. But yeah, I was super surprised to see them. And I was like doubting first. I was like, wait, what? Is it really 80s? But I was like, yeah, I mean, ta-da. So I was glad to see them. I'm not sure uh, how they made this combination of BB, uh, He Chu, uh, ATs, and the two other members. Like, who had thought of this combination? I I am just surprised. And so we see them dancing. Everyone was dancing their best. Lots of facial expressions. No doubt, right there. And then we see them all combining and being closer together. And I know he's like a comedian and I've seen him. Is he from Knowing Brothers? I haven't really watched that, but I saw him on Running Man and he's like super funny and everyone knew him. So I guess he's a very well-known comedian as to why is he on the scroll. I don't know if usually scrolls they have like announcements or some something big or I don't know, this part is probably like for fun and it's funny, but since I don't know much of what's going on or what they're saying, I'm probably missing out a little bit. But if you do know anything about the scene, let me know as I'm very curious. They all look very serious and look very cool during that time as well. And so here everyone is gathered at the entrance, right, of this traditional building and the people are playing instruments, the lion is here, everyone is gathered together. And again, some contemporary modern moments are like um, the glasses. And I realized they were all wearing like sneakers and very, very, very pretty and like probably fancy sneakers as well. So again, I really like that. And their pants, they're more like khakis or casual pants or just black pants. But I just really found that to be funny. Uh, you is wearing like jeans, I think. And yeah, I just thought like, oh, okay. And maybe Matne is wearing like, I don't know, Adidas, like, you know, those sports pants where it's tighter at the bottom. And so I was like, this is like very funny and great. And they all took it very seriously. I'm sure there were probably lots of NGs or bloopers just because you're supposed to look serious, but maybe the lyrics are funny as well as just the concept in general is supposed to be funny, but they need to hold their like laughter. And we see San dancing, of course, everyone's just looking great. Uh, I, I can't tell who this is it at the moment, but it feels like this person just gave up on the traditional outfit. It's like, you know what? I'm just wearing my sweats and I guess maybe Adidas is sponsoring. He looks very uh, completely Adidas to me here. And so it's just really funny. It's like, whatever, like, let's keep going. Same as this hat. I don't think it's as traditional. Same as the jacket. So yeah, it's just really funny as they're slowly revealing more and more of like the non-traditional parts of what they're wearing. And... Oh, that's Hichuo. Okay. Yep. I can tell 
I guess he still has some like Asian patterns on this blue jacket, but other than that, he's like, whatever. And so we see down here too, we see sneakers. And I think maybe BB is the most traditional looking, but again, because she's wearing a dress, she could be wearing sneakers or like stilettos or, you know, whatever heels underneath um, that gorgeous dress. So yeah, I think that was very funny and very enjoyable. Uh, if you know anything about the other people in this MV, let me know. But yeah, great surprises. I love, like I said, the melody with the combination of the Korean instruments. And I just find this to be creatively done in general. So yeah, thank you for watching. Continue to support this combination. I feel like I would like to watch a little bit more and see what else they can come up with as like a whole team. So yeah, again, uh, please support them. And also... Ooh, can I get a good picture of everyone? Yeah, support ATs, Hicho, BB, one of you might be Din Din, or Han Yue. Sorry, learning my alphabet still. And of course, support ATs as well. And they all look really good. I mean, they don't have a lot of makeup on. Everyone, I mean not very like intense makeup it's quite natural so everyone looks really good with very light and natural makeup i like that it's sometimes nice to see more of a natural look right all right thank you for watching with me i can just stare at this for quite some time just to appreciate the outfits as well as the artists themselves but yeah thank you